The Office of Disaster Preparedness and Management, in collaboration with the Disaster Management Units and other key national stakeholders, simulated a nighttime eruption of the Peparo mud volcano last Wednesday at the Peparo Community Center. However, only one person from the village, Ms. Candice Mohar Singh, was invited to attend. TDT News spoke with Vice President of the Village Council, Fidel Solomon, who said the residents are quite happy with the exercise but would like a little more communication with them as a group. Well, to be honest, um, if it is, at least they are paying, at least they are trying in, in, in some form or the other. To, to, they, it was a stimulation in the event uh, the volcano should erupt. What, what would be the response? So the, the relevant authorities, as the relevant authorities, I guess, in their in their eyes, it it was good enough because all that was required was the relevant authority. But the villagers should should have also been aware. Mr. Solomon says they received feedback from the meeting in terms of a note on WhatsApp. He says they are looking forward to a fuller briefing from the first responders team. He explained that the village has put together a volcanic update group which met recently. We, the village itself, took it upon ourselves to formulate an evacuation plan within our village because we, on the Cipriani tree side of the volcano, this is where we have one entrance and one exit. And if you take a drive up, you would notice how deplorable the road has become. The road deteriorating is because of the activities of the volcano. This is what the scientists will explain. We as a village came together and said, if the road is blocked, we made tracks in which we could pass around and escape. After two months struggling with life in crumbling homes, Mr. Solomon says no villager has been evacuated. Parents have moved their children to areas of safety, but getting them to and from school still requires the input of the parents, who do not have the luxury of living elsewhere yet. The villagers are hoping for a closer communication with the first responders for a better synchronization of plans, and they also hope for inclusion in the wider net of preparation for their safety.